joy back in town with another bingo, baby. Ciao. It's hard on me. It's hard on a girl. I bit my nails off, honey. But anyway, we are about to embark on just a mini hot pot. We didn't go all out. You put the noodles in there already? Yeah, I said I'm gonna put the noodles in. You put the noodles in? Yeah. You put a lot? I know. I'm asking, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I could. That doesn't look like a lot of noodles. That's not even a cup of ramen. It, I did put a lot. They just keep flying around. Okay. We got pork belly in the house and some lamb. And it's frozen. We didn't um, let it sit out. And then we have some gilda, some rice balls, some fish balls, and some gilda. I'm gonna put those in the water. In the water, honey. Yes. So how are you guys doing? Before I'm good. Thanks. She didn't introduce me. I'm Bobby. Oh. <laughs> if you stick it in that one more. <laughs> oh, we didn't get chopsticks. Oh no, with the forks. Ah, you gotta eat this with a chop and a stick. Fried gyoza. Let me throw these little fish balls up in there. Bobby, you have to open your mind and try. Open your mind. Fish open ball. your mind. Open your mind. Open your mind. You might be surprised what is going to come from the sunrise. <laughs> Guys, this meat is frozen. So how are you guys doing? What happened? Oh. Drop my fork. So you wanna throw it in the microwave for a second? No, just cook it up there, boo. We're just gonna cook that. This is the pork belly. We love the pork belly. So good. So good. I've been waiting for this one. She has. Just throw it up there, child. It'll, it'll get cooked some kind of way. So how you guys doing? I have some questions that I'm going to ask Bobby. I would love for you to answer the questions in the comment section below as well. I would love to know what you're thinking. Go ahead, cook that meat up, girl. Here's some tongs. What are my questions? You ready for the questions already? You ready already? Ready already? You ready already? Yeah. And then we have some sauces. We got poison sauce, Ooh. um, hot sweet sauce, barbecue sauce, and then we have some garlic, chili garlic sauce, and water. I cannot find my coldest water bottle. I think they're both upstairs. So look in the description box. Coldest water. Okay. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video, but as of today, it's Sunday, Sunday night. I go to work tomorrow. I go back to work tomorrow, baby. So I go back to work on Monday. Kids go back to school on Tuesday. So the teachers have planning and all that jazz tomorrow. Because as a teacher, the, the learning is nonstop. Even if you've been teaching for 20 years, you still gotta do your your training. What I did for this hot pot, I actually made my own broth. This is what I did because I find that the hot pot packets that you can buy, I feel as though they're too, too salty. And of course you can cut it down, but this is fine. This is pho. If you have an Asian market, you can get you one of these. I'm sorry. You can get one of these and it has four cubes. So I put in two of these cubes and probably four cups of water and a little bit of chicken bouillon. And I chopped up an onion and put a teaspoon of garlic. Done, done. Good. You know I make everything good. Hmm. Wait, the meat is burning. The meat, the meat, the meat, meat, meat. So I'm telling you guys, you guys should get you a little hot pot. It's cute. I think I'm gonna cook the gyoza up here now. They kind of defrost it a little bit. 
Yeah. Chopsticks from Connie Chow. I still cannot believe she's gone. Ooh, the one is missing. You want chopsticks? doing well and I hope that 2021 is starting out fantastic for you. What are my questions? Are you ready for your questions? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go pizza of lamb. Let's go pizza lamb. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. This question I really have to think about. Maybe not. What is the one thing that people misunderstand about you. Leave it in the comment section below. What is the one thing that people misunderstand about you? That's an interesting question. I don't know. That's a good little I know question. what my response is. For you? Mm -hmm. Sorry, excuse my elbow. I don't think I have one. I don't know. What's yours? So I guess it would be the same as a misconception that people have about you. Right. Mm -mm. Noodles are ready. Huh? I don't think the noodles are ready. You know I like my stuff a little crunchy. Well, for me, I think people assume because I joke around a lot, lot, and I'm super, super silly that I may not take things seriously or you can't take me seriously or that I'm not smart. You know, so that I think that that's a misconception too. That it's harder to take me seriously because I'm typically silly. Mm -hmm. But I do have many facets of my personality. And being silly is the one that I enjoy a lot. But there are many faces of joy and personality. <laughs> that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like... What do you think mine is? What would you say for me? I'm, I'm not around you and your friends. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. Are Joseph. I think maybe for you, Bobby, that maybe people see you as sweet, sweet Bobby. And do you think they may take advantage of that sometimes? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. But I didn't know if that was like a misconception, really. Yeah. That's being misunderstood. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just tend to be overly nice, I guess you said. But I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but at some point, you know, you gotta stand up for yourself. Which, well, I don't let people walk over me or anything. I think that sometimes you don't want to hurt people's feelings. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you don't say certain things. I do do that. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I think that's the same or similar as to letting someone walk over you. I don't let people walk over me. I don't think I let people walk over me. You don't think so? What you think people take you for granted? Because I remember one year, um, people were always asking you for your notes or your homework, and Sydney was getting upset. You remember? Sydney was like, I'll tell her, don't do it anymore. Yeah, that was my thing. 
a lot of people ask me my homework answers. Like a lot. Like it was a, it was a lot. It was a lot. And it would be like the same people over and over again. So it would be like, and you would give it to them. Yeah, because I'm a nice person. And that's the same as No, I'm different now. Okay. Ooh, oh, hot. Mm -hmm. Ooh. How are you different now? I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I think back then I was just a little too, you know. I would just let anything slide. Wait. I don't know, I don't know y'all, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, I'm interested to read about what you say. I know some people say, you know, they're too nice or something like that. You know, I've heard different. I think I'm too nice in the And I also think being um, an educator, that I am so nice that sometimes I think my students take advantage of that sometimes. But then there are other times when I lay down the law and they see another side of this battle that it's like, oh, we're gonna push those boundaries. But I'd rather, I'd really rather not be the mean teacher. Yeah. I don't wanna be that way. But I still want my students to know I'm not your friend. And, you know, I'm still the teacher. So I think I draw, you know. But you know how to get it in shape when you got to. Yes. <laughs> mm hmm. You know how to get it real. You know. Yeah, then I gotta use my mama voice. Oh. That mama voice. Oh. Not you. You want a piece? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know you know how to piece your lips when you have to. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. So here's question number two. Not that you thought about it, but this is an opportunity for us to think about it. I think we should start with maybe at least three things on our list. What are three things, or what could be three things on your bucket list for 2021? Mm. Oh, 2021? Mm -hmm. I want to get a tattoo. Um, okay, you get a tattoo. That's, that's my song one. I want to get a tattoo. Mmm, that's good. It is. Which one of yours? Um, <clears throat> on my bucket list. I already started one. I'd like to continue, but tattoo, but I'm not gonna say that. I would like to learn to play a piano. Mm. And. In 2022, I would like to be on my way to purchasing the RV. Mm -hmm. mm. So, I need to prepare all oh, year. Yeah. Mm. I want to, um, I want to like, you know, do some good. I want to like, I want to volunteer more this year. Cause although like I volunteer for school and stuff, that really doesn't, you know, that's just whatever. But I want to like actually volunteer at like different, um, for different like organizations and places in 2021. I got one. I got one. Mm -hmm. It 
kind of sounds like a New Year's resolution, but no. I will say Corona, you know, kind of hit me, you know, sideways. I want to get back to, I want to get back to running. And for this year, 2021, I want to sign up for three, maybe two. I'm not even sure if they're doing them now, um, 5K races. I used to do 5K, 5Ks every month. Mm. So I would like to at least sign up a minimum for two 5K races to get me going. You know, I want to do by the end of my life. Marathon? I want to run a marathon. I want to run a marathon. I don't want to go skydiving. I got him. Yeah. For sure. Although that's not, you know, 2021. But I do want to, I do really want to run a marathon. I think that Snickers still has a running club. Oh, yeah, I think they do too. So maybe we could go and inquire. I saw a running club one morning when I was going to my basketball game. And there was this, you saw so many people out running. Like so many people in this one neighborhood. And you could tell it was a running club because they were all in the same, like, they were all in the same, like, vicinity. And I think some of them were wearing, a lot of them were wearing, like, this certain color shirt. There are so many of them out here. Crazy. Well, I would have to start with beginners. Okay. Question number three. Leave it in the comment section below. If a genie granted you three wishes what would they be anything besides money hmm. um you, you go first nope you're not you're not jump piggybacking off my thoughts i uh -uh. wasn't gonna piggyback okay then you, you go first dear i just need time to think okay you need that processing time mm -hmm. okay okay well i'll say one Mm -hmm. I would say to have a successful YouTube platform with millions of subscribers where I am impactful on the lives of others and I'm making a difference emotionally, spiritually. Okay. So your your wish can't be too big, right? Is your wish can't be too big. Okay. I just said besides money. I if I were granted a wish, I would you know, it may sound cliche, but hear me out. <laughs> world peace there's so much hate in the world there's so much hate whether that be like um you know racism sexism like all that stuff like and I just think like why why I just don't understand so I think if everybody would just know we all bleed the same and we're we're all going to the same place whenever you know we're done here. So like what like why do we like I don't understand why people hate each other. Like for reasons that you know people can't control, if I could say. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's funny that you should say that. So I'm the lucky volunteer. Um, to be the facilitator tomorrow at school because it's teacher training tomorrow and I'm the facilitator for equality talk. They're really not bad. You gotta get used to them. What? Really? What you mean? And so I'm going to be a facilitator to talk about racial issues but the first conversation we had at school about racial inequalities and so on and so forth, it was done with all of the teachers. But this time, I'm going to be in a group setting. And I think um, I'll probably be the only African-American there. 
in the room and I think one may be via conference. But um, what they've done this time, um, they have gathered four video clips. Um, Blackish was one of them. Mm, I love Blackish. What was that show? All American. Mm, the All show American. All American when um, the two boys from different sides of the fence, both African American, one privilege and one not. So they both had different life experiences, but then they were in a car together in a Jaguar and the cops pull them over. Mm. So of course the one who grew up in um, an eco dis or economically disadvantaged area, his mom taught him the rules about getting pulled over as a black man by cops. And the other boy who was also black, but never thought that he would face these issues. Well, his father didn't think he would face those same issues because he lived in a better neighborhood. Lo and behold, he was thrown on the ground and harassed by the police officers. One knew what to do, the other one did not because they one lived in a bubble and the other one didn't. And so we are gonna have clips, short clips, and then we'll base discussions on those clips, which I think is very, very, very good because then it'll give an opportunity for different people. There were some, I think, two Hispanic people that'll be in my group as well, uh, for them to have an outside look on what we experience as African Americans and people in general. So I think it'll be a great discussion, and I like the video clips that um, mm -hmm. they chose. I know both of them video clips very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. And um, I was provided with discussion points. So it's about managing and facilitating, making sure everyone staying on task, not arguing, and their feelings and their experiences are theirs. Just because you've had an experience and you know, may, someone else may not agree, it still doesn't take away that that was your experience. So, you know, just to hear people out and so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I wish it was longer than an hour because the video clips are pretty intense and it could um, drum up some great, great discussion. No. I even thought about doing it as a as a video. Maybe you and I could be in my new studio I'm working oh, on. Oh my god, we should. We should. Show the video clip and then we talk about it. We should do that. Okay. Let's do it. I like talking about that stuff. Okay. So, um, so leave your comments below. I would love for you to answer those questions. And we are going to finish up our little hot pot. It's just a mini hot pot. Um, maybe we'll do another one later in the week with some little crabs or something. A few little crabs. Some, some. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. I know it's not all of the, 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 the glorious uh, setup and all that. We're keeping it real, honey. I got work tomorrow, but we still need to eat. I wanted to share with you. It is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. Right. Good, good, good girlfriend. I love them. I haven't seen them all day. Good, good girlfriend. Go ahead, you can eat it. All right, guys, I love you. And I will keep the questions coming and hopefully Bobby enjoying, Sydney enjoying, because we still gotta eat. We may not have that beautiful, luxurious setup or seafood and all that stuff, but you know, for great conversation, positive conversation, um, we're here for that. And I know some people are just here to see people eat, smack, and that's it. <laughs> then it's not the channel for you. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Anyways, she's crazy, but make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, later.